Hey guys, it's Flip. Today I'm going to show you how to change the oil on a Troy built pony. And I'm going to teach you a couple little tricks to make your oil changes easier for this mower, but it'll work on most riding lawn mowers. Alright guys, this is a Troy built pony, um, 7 speed, 17 and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. Um, this needs the oil change every 50 hours. And before you get started, what you want to do is ride it around a little bit just to warm it up. That'll get the sediment up off the bottom and thin out your oil a little bit. And then you want to take your dipstick out. That's just going to allow some air to move through and help it drain easier. Um, disengage your PTO. Um, and then just for safety, what you want to do is pop off your spark plug here and make sure your key is out. That's just going to ensure you don't have any accidental startups. All right, this is the oil drain plug right here. And the main problem with this setup is that the steering rod is right in your way. The lawnmower does come with this plastic drain sleeve. But I have heard of people who actually don't end up getting this. But it does help drain the oil and get it over the frame right here. Um, some oil is always going to leak back behind, that's part of changing the oil, um, but it definitely does help. Now one problem you might run into is sometimes these plugs get stuck and you don't have a whole lot of room to work. So one little trick I'm going to teach you is if you take a socket extension like this, most people don't have square sockets or eight point sockets laying around but you might have an extension and that'll fit right on here. Then what you can do is take a crescent wrench and that's gonna give you more leverage. You can turn you can turn it this way and that's definitely gonna help you get your plug out. Alright, most oil pans will not fit between the tire and the cutting deck so what I did is I just cut off the top of a milk jug to catch the oil and then I'll dispose of it. I'll get it into a proper uh, oil pan. And what I'm going to use, uh, this is a more common tool, is a 7 16 wrench that will fit right on this drain plug. So what you want to do is just use your wrench to get it loosened up. Then you can use your fingers. So get it out the rest of the way. That oil is going to be a little warm when it comes out of there. Nothing too bad to burn you, um, but it is going to be a little warm. Um, I like to hold the plastic sleeve in place. Uh, just hold it up firm against the back there so not too much oil gets through, but you're going to have a little spilling. That's okay. Sometimes the oil will flush the drain plug out. Uh, that's okay, you're just gonna have to fish it out. I'm gonna get uh, some rubber gloves and just grab that plug out of there. So I'm gonna let this drain for a few minutes. Probably should have had these rubber gloves on to begin with, um, but now I get to get in here and fish out this plug. No big deal. Just gonna wipe it off. Alright, so this looks like it's about drained, so you're just going to take your plastic drain sleeve out of here and get you some paper towels and wipe the oil off the frame. And the next thing I'm going to do is show you a little trick to make this oil change easier and cleaner the next time around. This is going to work for most riding lawnmowers. All right, so here's the little trick that's gonna make this oil change easier in the future. So um, what I bought here is a 3 8 inch brass nipple. And this is basically gonna act like a little extension pipe out of the drain hole uh, to make it a little bit easier. And then what I did is bought a 3 8 inch cap. And I'm gonna put this on the end of the brass nipple to keep the oil in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some Teflon tape and I'm going to wrap it around both ends 
of the nipple here so it has a tight fit in the drain hole and the cap fits on tightly. All right, so I got some thread tape on both sides of this brass nipple and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the drain hole. All right, so now what we have is a one and a half inch long brass nipple in our drain spout. And this is just gonna make it a little easier to change your oil next time. You can take your plastic sleeve or a funnel and put it under the end of this brass nipple and it's just going to help you drain it a little better. Now ideally you would want to use a longer brass nipple to get out past the frame. Something like this. Uh, a 3 inch or a 4 inch brass nipple will get you out past the frame. Unfortunately just with the setup of this mower the steering rods in the way. Um, when you change your oil the next time what you want, want to do is use a pipe wrench on the back end of the pipe here when you take your cap off that's going to keep the whole pipe from turning so you hold this in place and use another wrench to take your cap off to drain the oil this is my neighbor's cub cadet I just wanted to show you another example of a different setup so on his mower, you can see they made the steering rod below the drain port, so it's not in the way. That's pretty nice, but this tip will work even better on this mower. You can take a brass nipple that sticks out past the frame, and that's going to make it a lot cleaner oil change. Check out this stool snap-on. That's pretty cool. Okay, the last step is we're just going to put some oil back in. Um, I've got some SAE 30 and this Briggs engine holds 44 ounces of oil. Now I'm going to put about an extra ounce or so just because of this little brass pipe is going to hold some extra oil. If you have a Briggs engine with an oil filter it holds 48. Um, this one does not have an oil filter so it holds 44 ounces. Okay, the last thing is just put your oil dipstick back in, reconnect your spark plug, and put your key back in, and that's it. If this video helped you out, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to have several more videos coming out with tips and tricks for lawnmowers. Thanks for watching.